Chapter on the Statement of Allah He said, Do you remember when we betook ourselves to the rock? Quran, Chapter 18, Verse 63 Narrated Sa'id bin Jubayr I said to Ibn Abbas, Nauf al-Bakali claims that Musa, Moses of Bani Israel, was not Musa, Moses, the companion of al-Khidr. Ibn Abbas said, Allah's enemy tells a lie. Ubay bin Ka'b narrated to us that Allah's messenger peace be upon him said, Musa, Moses got up to deliver a khutbah, religious talk before Bani Israel, and he was asked, Who is the most learned person among the people? Musa, Moses replied, I am the most learned. Allah then admonished Musa, Moses, for he did not ascribe all knowledge to Allah alone. Then came the divine revelation. Yes, one of our slaves at the junction of the two seas is more learned than you. Musa, Moses said, O oh my Lord, how can I meet him? Allah said, Take a fish in a basket, and wherever the fish is lost, follow it. You will find him at that place. So Musa, Moses set out along with his boy servant, Yusha bin Nun, and they carried with them a fish till they reached a rock and rested there. Musa, Moses put his head down and slept. Sufyan, a sub-narrator, said that somebody other than Amr said, At the rock there was a water spring called Al-Hayat, and none came in touch with its water but became alive. So some of the water of that spring fell over that fish, so it moved and slipped out of the basket and entered the sea. When Musa, Moses, woke up, he asked, his boy servant, bring our morning meal. Quran, chapter 18, verse 62. The narrator added, Musa, Moses did not suffer from fatigue except after he had passed the place he had been ordered to observe. His boy servant, Yushar bin Nun, said to him, Do you remember when we betook ourselves to the rock? I did indeed forget the fish. Quran, chapter 18, verse 63. The narrator added, So they came back, retracing their steps, and then they found in the sea the way of the fish looking like a tunnel. So there was an astonishing event for his boy servant, and there was tunnel for the fish. When they reached the rock, they found a man covered with a garment. Musa, Moses greeted him. The man said astonishingly, Is there any such greeting in your land? Musa, Moses said, I am Musa, Moses. The man said, Musa, Moses. Of Bani Israel? Musa, Moses said, yes, and added, May I follow you so that you teach me something of the knowledge which you have been taught by Allah? Quran, chapter 18, verse 66. Al-Khizr said to him, O Musa, Moses, you have something of Allah's knowledge which Allah has taught you, and which I do not know. And I have something of Allah's knowledge which Allah has taught me, and which you do not know. Musa, Moses said, But I will follow you. Al-Khizr said, Then if you follow me, ask me not about anything till I myself mention it to you. Quran, chapter 18, verse 70. After that, both of them proceeded along the seashore. There passed by them a ship whose crew recognized Al-Khizr and received them on board. A sparrow came and sat on the edge of the ship and dipped its beak into the sea. Al-Khizr said to Musa, Moses, My knowledge and your knowledge and all the creation's knowledge compared to Allah's knowledge is not more than the water taken by this sparrow's beak. Then Musa, Moses was startled by Al-Khizr's action of taking an adze and scuttling the boat with it. Musa, Moses said to him, Have you scuttled it in order to drown its people? Quran, chapter 18, verse 71. Then they both proceeded and found a boy playing with other boys. Al-Khizr took hold of him by the head and cut it off. 
Musa, Moses said to him, Have you killed an innocent person who has killed none? Verily, you have committed a thing, nukr, a great munkar, prohibited, evil, dreadful thing. Quran, chapter 18, verse 74. He said, Did I not tell you that you can have no patience with me? Up to, but they refused to entertain them. Then they found therein a wall about to collapse. Quran, chapter 18, verse 75 to 77. Al-Khidr moved his hand thus, and set it upright, repaired it. Musa, Moses said to him, When we entered this town, they neither gave us hospitality nor fed us. If you had wished, surely you could have taken wages for it. Al-Khidr said, This is the parting between you and me. I will tell you the interpretation of those things about which you were unable to hold patience. Quran Chapter 18, verse 78 Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, We wished that Musa, Moses, could have been more patient, so that he, Allah, could have described to us more about their story. Ibn Abbas used to recite, As there was a king in front, ahead of them, who seized every ship by force. As for the boy, he was a disbeliever.